Alright, so right now it's kind of late. Just want to say what's up. Welcome back to more God of War Ragnarok. I'm going to go ahead and keep that quiet, but got to say that this has been one of the best games I've ever played on my channel, and just mainly for the fact that, like, for the longest time, YouTube's algorithm changed to where if you upload a lot, less people see your videos, right? So the fact that these videos are still getting these types of views means a lot to me. I know it's a long series, so just thank you so much for sticking with me. And uh, all the likes and support on each part mean a lot to me. Gotta help share everything. So, alright. Love you all. Let's go ahead and jump back in. Let's get this. This way. The Norns are somewhere in that cave just ahead. Alright, we got a chest right there. Looks like... We just keep on cruising through. We can hop up to the right here. All right, so well, that's kind of weird. We can go. Oh, we can't go through there. Never mind. I don't know why I thought it was gonna like lift up a a tree log or whatever. All right, here we go. There's that itchy sound again. Normally, I don't mind ladies whispering in my ear, but this is positively awesome. Anyone ever tell you that you babble when you're terrified? Terrified? I'll have you know I'm at the very most deeply apprehensive. And breaking tension with humor is the sacred duty of a traveling companion. I, how very dare you! Babbling! Man, Mimir is like one of my favorite dialogue type characters. Alright, going down here. Oh, that looks official. Listen to me, please. Stop! Why did you bring him here? You are not welcome here! Wait! Baldur, come back! Talk to me! That's cool seeing him again. I am so sick of your constant menace! What you did to me! What you did to me! Oh, come on. That's a lot of enemies. Uh oh, hold on. Let's chase get a little strength going. Get off me. Brother, over here! Come get me! I want none of this! Mimir! Secret? Brother, hold off! Why did you never turn on Odin? But I did! I tried to stop him any way I could! Don't lie to me! You served Odin from the day you met him to the day he put you in that tree! You sought his favor! You plotted his war! You watched him mistreat everyone and everything! And you never get but get it until you turn on you! I know secrets. It's true. All of it. But for love of you, I became a better man. A counselor for peace. An ally to all those who... Were you an ally to Freya in her suffering? To Star? To Grom? Or to Tanya? No! You always took the side of the power of men! You Lover, yes. watch out! There's more of them! Even now! You see a pirate god in me and you can't There's too many. It 
is not her. No. Of course. You did what you must. Brother, the team! It's pulling me in! Mamir! Brother, help me! Monster! Atreus! I am coming! Oh my god! Why didn't you trust your own son? Don't let him take me! Atreus! Oh, come on! Again! Why wouldn't you see him the way you want to be seen? I'm like trying to stay focused on the dialogue because there's so much combat. There's <laughs> a lot. There's a lot going on. Oh, come on. I am here. It's over. Did we pass the test? Didn't feel much like succeeding. I see the door has disappeared. Or it was never there. They toy with us still. What is that? A Kelpie. Don't see many of those in these parts. She must be theirs. Will she take us to them? I'll ask her. Nicely. Easy, girl. Easy. That's right. Good. You have to talk about whatever the norms put you through? No. Get on. That's a good lass. Lovely creatures, but temperamental by reputation. In my land, they'd keep children away from the lost by telling them a Kelpie would drown them. Of course, no Kelpie I know would do such a thing. Unless it was disrespected. It walks on water. Aye. No mystical water steeds to speak of in Greece, brother? Hmm. There were the Hippocamps. They served the Sea God. I battled one upon a Titan. <laughs> that might not be her favorite subject. <laughs> That is sick. Underwater? Oh my god. That's one of the coolest things I've ever seen in a video game. That was so awesome. Yeah, I gotta read this, because that was one of the coolest things, because I was first like, okay... Walking on water, <laughs> and then all of a sudden just dives under. Kelpie. All right. We're here. Fate's own hideaway. Never doubted we'd make it. Kratos, Freya, and Mimir's head. Enter the home of the Norns, tentatively. They have finally reached their destination. Kratos speaks first. I, I seek, seek my, my son! son. <laughs> you know the child is an Asgard. No, you seek. What all who search for us seek. To know the ending to your story. The ghost of Sparta furrows his brow menacingly. He resists the urge to grunt. Oh, he fails. You come to us, piteous archetypes, seeking freedom from your scripts. As if knowing your lines would grant you the power to rewrite them. Speak, Speak plain. plain. 
You will die, Kratos of Sparta. But you, but you called him the destroyer, destroyer of fate. fate. There, there must be a way to, to subvert, subvert destiny. destiny. There is no destiny, Puck. The protagonists are speechless. They do not understand. There is no grand design, no script. Only the choices you make. That your choices are so predictable. Merely make us seem prescient. When, when my, my son, son was born, born shut up! up. <laughs> your prophecy said he would die a needless death. And he did. Because you could not let him go. Because he thirsted for revenge. And because you kill gods. But what Kratos did, it was not out of hate. Should I bring him a crown then? He still slays gods, but now he's sad about it? You are the sum of your choices, nothing more. And because your choices never change, you will learn that Heimdall intends to kill your son in Asgard, and you will do what you do best. And then Ragnarok. The skies burn, the curtains fall. Exunt omni. Heimdall. Again, he misses the point. Focusing on the second act to the exclusion of the final. A common mistake in Storycraft. We are, we are leaving. leaving. <sighs> he stomps away, followed closely by Freya. I enjoyed your story, Kratos. Pity it has to end so soon. <laughs> all right let's read all this really quick the fate of these realms i just feel like that was pretty cool i didn't know what i was getting into so we're underwater still technically well that was educational <laughs> Let us leave this place. Happily. That's better. I can feel things getting more normal already. Wait. That tree. Well, isn't that interesting? What is this? That's the noose, brother. The one Odin hanged himself with. As part of his endless mad quest for secrets of life and death and what have you. What are you doing? It's a charged object, significant to Odin. Perhaps I'll find a use for it. Brother, what they said about the boy... Will not happen. Oh, I agree. It will not happen. We will not let it. Of course we bloody won't. The question is how? You wouldn't seriously consider killing Heimdall, would you? I will do what I must. Oh, is that all? You're wrong to dissuade him, Mimir. You know Heimdall. I grant you that he's a spiteful, vicious little shit. And so loyal, Odin entrusted him with Galahorn. If we have the chance to eliminate him before Ragnarok, we shouldn't hesitate. Considering his powers of foresight alone, that is an if of mountainous size. I just had a theory. Here's what I think. This is me guessing what could happen with the rest of this game, right? You got Atreus saying that Odin's not as bad as everybody says he is. He's actually cool. He's letting him stay there, saying he's not a prisoner and all that stuff. And then you got them trying to, like... Basically on the other side of it. So is he's gonna like it's all gonna come down like a tray is having to make a choice to save his dad, essentially. So I don't know. We shall see what happens. Even supposing we're all perfectly comfortable plotting an assassination, and I for one am a mite rusty at that measure. We've got no way to reach Heimdall. And no way to kill him if we did. I have killed gods greater than him. I don't doubt that, brother. 
but it's hardly my point. <sighs> oh, look at that. Hold on. Oh, here it is. I was like, where did it go? More honed metal. Kratos, I see something. What she see? Wait, what? I was trying to get this. Look, I think we're missing the Norn's message here. We've all got our tendencies, and yours is to run headlong into danger to protect the ones you love. I do not intend to change. Not about that. Why should you? Apparently my tendency is to kill the ones I love. Freya. I don't need you to comfort me. Either of you. Their accusation was cruel. None of us believe- The truth can be a cruel thing. Anyone care to argue with that? No. But Baldur's fate had many causes. Prophecy among them. How do you mean, brother? There are many tales in my homeland of those who fulfilled prophecy by attempting to avoid it. So it was when Freya tried to protect Baldur. And so it was when I accused my son of going to Asgard. And we agree. It'd be foolish to go after Heimdall. No. If Heimdall must die for Atreus to live, then Heimdall must die. How can you say that, knowing what you know? Because if Heimdall is a threat to my son, I must act. It is my... Your nature. Well played, Norns. <laughs> Art the path. Word of fate completed. Interesting. Thought there might be more. That's a lot of XP. I need to upgrade the blade to chaos find as well. A gateway. Return home. Consider our plans. Alright, return back when ready. Before okay. you make any hasty decisions, why don't you blow off a little steam? I'm sure there was some loose end we meant to circle back to. Give your mind a little time to process everything. I suspect there's unfinished business here at the lake, though I'm certainly happy to spend time somewhere other than Midgard. It's your choice, brother. <laughs> Blades of Chaos, let's go. Disinfectant, so these are very hygienic. All right, increases the timing window on parries. Well, I've been missing a lot lately. I wonder how much that actually helps. I like this one. Just for good defense. That's all it is. Uh, armor, let's what see. What can I make for you? Man, this is a pretty good increase in everything except vitality. It looks like... Uh... Ooh, do I... I mean, what I currently have is pretty nice, but... Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure if I want that. Uh, waste. I mean, these are better in a few spots, but not by much. I would like my luck to be higher, which that's not all that. Okay, I got to say something right quick. That looks really good. Hitting an enemy with a runic attack or relic has a luck chance. Problem is you need more luck, so I may, I may make this one. Now, I like that a lot. Health or rage stones? Time, Sign right? me up, fam. Kratos? Uh, waste armor. Yeah, I, I kind of like this set right here. Now, I don't know what I was looking at a minute ago. Okay, let's go ahead and craft this. I'm going to use this set for a little bit. Wear it with pride. And then last... Oh, wait. Seventy percent of its cooldown. This set is too good. Huh? That might be my best piece yet today. We can upgrade this too. Let's go ahead and do it. Now I can have okay more slots open. Essentially, I'll disinfect my tools. I just gotta say that the overall like vibe of this game has been spectacular. And for the Valkyrie Queen, what'll it be? So I'll look at everything I have really quick just to make sure we're good. Take care of your armor, and it'll take care of you. All right, so we got a nice armor set, which I'm really excited to kind of see what it does. I only had two things on. 
Okay, hold on. Strength, I have enough for that. What do we got here? This gives us a little more defense and luck. I don't have any of the perk requirements yet to get the main set bonus, so... Let's kind of see what each of these give us. Cooldown. What if I go all luck? That would be kind of nice. That's the only one I see that has luck on it, so I'll just use that for now. And then skills. We got the Blades of Chaos upgraded, so now we can spend more XP. Which, I want to see what this is. That slowdown is so sick. We're getting it. And now we got significantly increases the blast radius of blazing explosions. Alright. These cost a lot, but I mean, what else am I use it on? Alright, can't really do much else. I can get some stuff for her unlocked. Which, let's see. Oh, I like that. Nearby enemies. Alright, is there any other one that's like 750? Okay, these are both 1,750. So, what we can do is... We have the, the Vine one. We also have this one, which I like that right there a little bit better. Let's see what this is. Inspect it. It greatly increases burn of skill. What does this do? Let's see. It greatly increases resistance damage while being staggered during the skill. See, that's one thing about the... Uh, whenever you use the skills in this game, it's kind of like... You're not interrupted, really. As much as you are... Let me just do... Well... Let's get this one. That should be good. Yeah, so like, you don't get interrupted really when you do your actual skills, but it you can see the damage being taken, you know? Alright, got a few options here. One thing I would... Well, we got... Okay, what I know we can do when we come back to this area for a fact is... Look at the map really quick. Yeah, we have a lot of stuff we're going to search. This is one of those parts of the game where we have... We had the key we had to get two parts of. We only got one half of that. We'll come back to that later on as well. Um, yeah, we'll keep it going. Alright, let's see. Turn back. Yeah, just the middle part. Wait, what? Oh, there it is. They were close to each other. I couldn't actually see it. Tell me of this power Heimdall wields. He sees the future. More like he reads the person, sees their intention. My intent will be to kill him. Knowing that will be no advantage. Brother, this is no one to underestimate. Any move you make, he'll have seen it coming. If you must face him, we need something else. An edge. Humor me? Very well. We will ask the dwarves. Ah. The inevitable asking of the dwarves. All right, let's go ask him. What is the hold on current path? We got. We've done how many missions have we done? Well, it doesn't show all the other ones. Oh no, it is. All right then. That's because someone with a tray. I forgot about that. Excuse me, sir. Could I have a moment of your time? Oh dear, oh dear, what's to be done? What is it you want? It has come to my attention that Neethog has been slain. And as a result, her offspring have been let loose into the Nine Realms. What of it? Unfortunately, without a proper role model to supervise them, the little rascals are certain to fall to mischief. In time, said mischief could culminate in nothing less than their devouring of the Nine Realms entirely. In order to avoid such a grisly fate, I'd like you to bring the lean worms to me. I believe I can act as a satisfactory paternal figure in their upbringing. You'll find the specimens gnawing on tears throughout the realms. Use this device to safely store them, bring them back to me, and I promise I'll make it worth your while. You mean to say you'd raise them by yourself? Indeed. I have no small experience managing extreme personalities. 
Compared to wrestling with my emotions in the most literal of senses, I dare say raising a handful of leaned worms will be a walk in the park. All that said, I'm happy to discuss anything else on your mind. There's some dialogue, hold on. About Nithog. You should know. We had no choice. It was Odin's doing. Oh, I am very well aware indeed of the alleged All-Father's role in this tragedy. Sadly, there's no expecting him to clean up after himself. Not all gods showed the interest that you do in righting past wrongs. I do hope you're able to locate those lean worms. Good luck to you. Well, I mustn't keep you further from your goings on. All right, here we go. Do, do you not understand? They're back. They're back. Simmer down. I see them. 